We're into mid-October and 91 mm. degrees today. Yeah, typically cold fronts come down mid-October, and we're getting one. It's just uh, delayed by about a few days. Uh, it'll be through on Saturday. It'll cool things down. The good thing is, though, and you kind of noticed it today, it wasn't yeah. too bad out there. 91, not like the summer August 91. This, no was, this was a nice lower humidity yeah. around there. Uh, as far as the tower cam goes, another nice sunset time lapse. Looking out over Sarasota Bay toward Longboat Key, you can see the sun uh, with a few clouds around, creating some nice effects there with some of the clouds. And a beautiful evening, really. The temperature is still pretty warm, but again, with that lower dew point temperature, it makes it feel all that much more comfortable out there. And this is the way it started today. A pretty nice uh, photo here sent in again by uh, uh, Fever. And uh, this is uh, the bayfront. Beautiful, calm conditions out there in the water. And then at Lido, Andrea sending this one in uh, again, just as the sun was going below the horizon there. Appreciate those shots at pics at mysuncoast.com. Few showers down to our south. Not much else going on, really. The rain uh, pretty limited today due to some dry air in the mid's upper levels of the atmosphere. And we're anticipating similar conditions again tomorrow. High temperatures will get close to record breaking, uh, but the uh, temperatures will be uh, warm. It won't be as bad, though, again, as we saw today with that lower dew point temperature around, making it feel a little bit nice out there. And the northeast to east winds continuing tonight, generally 5 to 10 if you're inland and along the coastline, anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour. And that's the same down into South Sarasota County as well. And into Charlotte County, proceeded now 11 mile an hour wind out of the east northeast and a lesser amounts as you push further off toward the east. Right now at 75, we have clear skies and the dew point temperature 65 degrees. East winds are at 7. The pressure actually coming up now at 30.02 inches. And as far as the high goes, I mentioned earlier, 91, uh, close to a record, two degrees shy of the record high of 93, set back in 1989. 71 was the morning low. These two numbers are similar to what you'd see in the summer months, but it didn't feel like that. As I mentioned earlier, 44, the record set in 1977, 44 degrees. Not going to get this cold, that cold this weekend, but we will be noticeably cooler both on Sunday morning and Monday morning is when the uh, chillier air starts to move in. No rainfall report today for the month now, just over two and a half inches of rain at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. Statewide temperatures now into the 60s and 70s and 80s, 69 in Tallahassee and Jacksonville. It's still 80 in Miami, 81 in Key West, and 73 in Orlando. Upper 60s to mid-60s in Lake Placid and Sebring. And then uh, Northport at 72, Braden in 76, Inglewood at 75. Well, in the tropics, uh, we still have a month and a couple of weeks before the officially over. And Otto is the next name storm up on the list. And it looks like it may happen. Uh, we're going to have a tropical system developing, and the National Hurricane Center is suggesting that uh, this area right here could eventually turn into a tropical storm or a subtropical storm. Uh, at best over the next uh, couple of days now. The chances have really been increasing. They are up to 60% for the next two days and up to 80% for the next five days. Still a lot of shear going on here. It's not going to be a classic looking tropical system at first and eventually could transition into that. There's the forecast path and track though. The reason why that cold front I mentioned that's going to come through here is going to keep this and bump it off the United States coast over time. You can see that quite clearly in the RPM forecast model. There it is spinning around as it heads off to the north and east. And here comes the front, which will kind of push it off into the Atlantic and keep it away uh, from the U.S. Temporarily, though, uh, tomorrow, we'll see this east and northeasterly wind flow, which will have a tendency to warm things up. Temperatures, Detroit 62, Green Bay at 52, Chicago at 62, and Denver now at 47, Wichita 61 degrees and Omaha at 53, Dallas at 81 degrees at this hour. Pretty warm there. Uh, for boaters, seas running right around two feet, a light chop in the bays and inland waters. Tide upcoming as a high tide. Low tide will be at 1026 and a sunrise at 733. The forecast, isolated showers offshore mainly, otherwise mostly fair. And then for tomorrow, a few sprinkles possible. The rain chance less than 20% tomorrow, but otherwise, nice day again, albeit a little bit warm. The extended forecast, finally, which we've been waiting for, Cooler temperatures on Saturday and Sunday with highs only in the low 80s.